Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. Welcome back to some more Stay in the Steel 6.4. We're playing as the Holy Roman Empire. Now, in today's episode, we have a battle against Venice. That's how we're going to start things off now. Um, we do outnumber them quite significantly. However, obviously, because Venice is a pretty large city, um, it's going to be extremely hard because um, just the amount of towers and stuff. We do outnumber them, but it's still a 3 to 1 ratio. They do have some crossbow militia, but a fair order result, if I do say so myself. Alright. We'll sack Venice. We get seven, just under 8,000. You've been excommunicated. Fine. Um, we've been excommunicated like twice. The Pope of Denmark is 75 years of age, so he's quite old at the moment. We're really quite lucky then, because if we lost that, we would have been um, surrounded from behind. So we'll rally back up, and we'll continue to push against Venice. Get rid of these last bastards. We'll push on Bologna to retake it. We need to repair Venice. Nice. Right, um, I actually found out why we got a peace treaty with Genoa. Um, the Kingdom of Hungary managed to get an alliance with them. Because I just, I was just like in a daze. I was just like, how the fuck do we get peace with them? It was because Hungary did. That's forced them and they, ex they uh, accepted it. So, if we ever go want to go to war with the Kingdom of Genoa, which uh, not just it doesn't bother me. We'll be fine. Right, we're still building an army at Milan. Now, I currently have two full stacks at Entwork and uh, uh, here as well. Right, uh, Aberdeen isn't good at the moment. I went around and built some watchtowers, but we're going to be finishing off the last of the Scottish in one more turn. We're already excommunicated, doesn't matter. So, once we finish off the last of the Scottish, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on England. I'm going to push on the mainland of Britannia. Um, I don't know if they have Ireland just yet. I will need to scout that out, but I wouldn't put it past them. It's 36 turns in. Um, the Scottish actually could might have it. Um, I think the Scottish only have one territory, though. I would imagine. Hang on. We'll go into territory, and we'll have a look at Scotland. Where is Scotland? Uh, fuck. Where is it? There. Oh, they only have one territory left, yep. So we'll be eliminating Scotland. Now, as arming and arming whether or not to bring these two, settle, uh, these two full stacks over, um, but to be perfectly honest, we can pivot and hit London uh, quite quickly. So we'll move this fleet down. Family tree-wise, obviously we currently have um, our emperor. He has a son. We do need to marry off these two. His brother has a really good um, son, the Duke of Aberdeen. So the line of succession. We need uh, another generation coming through. Otherwise, we're going to be having a bit of uh, problems here. So we're going to continue to push against the Venetians. We're still at war with Scotland and that. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, Aberdeen doesn't look too fresh at the moment. Looks like it might rebel. Can I move an army? I think it's because of the conquest, is it? One more turn, we can get Ballista. That will help with the public order, I guess. We obviously retook... Um, not retook. We took Norway from the Norwegians. They have been destroyed officially. What does the Republic of Genoa want? But guys, if you still are enjoying this Holy Roman Empire campaign, remember to leave a like. I'd appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't to keep up to date with the series. So, Republic of Genoa has offered us trade. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to help them. Fuck them. I don't want to give them any of my vast wealth. I was at war with them not too long ago. They declared war on me. The only reason I'm not killing them is if I um, attack them, Hungary will most likely break their alliance with me. Kingdom of France. I wonder how they're going. Cease fight. No. I want to finish off Venice. They do have, obviously, Venice itself. That's what that's going to take out a huge chunk of their income. We'll push on Bologna. Now, I do know for a fact that they do have a settlement in... Northern Macedon, I would say. Macedonia, I would say that is. Just under southern Hungary. Ah, the English have moved up, uh, moved up a, uh, a stack to Edinburgh. That's interesting. Because I have a fair few family members there. Um, a husband. Okay, she's just come of age. No, I want to marry her to my faction leader if we can. Where is my faction leader? The, Byz the Byzantine Emperor is dead. The Moorish Caliphate, the Kingdom of Jerusalem, the King of Jerusalem is dead. Faction announcements, we've got some more things here. Relationships improve with Denmark and some cardinals. Fine with me. Right, where's my faction heir? He's currently in Scotland. Where is she? Oh, she's in Edinburgh. Nice. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. 
I keep on saying that because it's like Kookaburra. Right. Um, can we take Bologna? A 5 to 4 ratio. Are you kidding me? There's only 4 lots of spearmen there. The auto resolves are really horrendous in this. How many turns until we can get my other army up here? And that should officially sweeten the odds. 355, Christ. Right, we'll sack Bologna. Even though um, it was our f one of our former cities. We don't mind. We'll swap over here. We need to repair. We'll continue to build some more churches. We are quite holy still. I want to keep that. Man, 4,200 per turn. That's crazy from Venice. Yeah, they have an army here in uh, southern Hungary. But it looks like the uh, Byzantines might be attacking them. Right, let's go north. Let's go to Scotland and finish them off. Um, England, I'm not really too sure what they're doing. If they declare war on me, that'd be good. It doesn't hinder my relations. Right, we're going to finish off the last of the Scottish here. I'd rather attack with the, uh, the quite competent potential Arnold. A knight attack gets rid of them. Right, average victory. We'll execute. The Scottish king is dead. We'll sack it. And I would imagine, on that note, Scotland has been destroyed itself. Right, we'll rally back up. We're going to send this army straight down south. Because um, we need to go and help Edinburgh if it does get attacked. We'll keep the Emery here. The Emery. We'll keep the Emperor here at Inverness. And we'll retrain. We need to get troops here. Hmm. Do I have a spy? I have a spy here. Okay, so the... Uh, the Milanese own that. Okay, so some of my uh, settlements have been constructed. We need to get a knight stable and a drill square. So we can get some better quality units. We, c we can get light men-at-arms and uh, armoured sergeants. It just takes a little while. Right, where are we... Are we is there anywhere when when we're... Fuck, we're not recruiting anything. I just want to go through there. Alright. We have the money, so it doesn't particularly bother me what order this gets built in. It saves me doing it every fucking time, so just kind of just spamming it. It's all going to benefit to us. It's not, we're not that early stages in the game, so everything will benefit us. We make, we've got an, an insane amount of wealth, amount of wealth anyway. It's all going to help. Um, right, Edinburgh. Shipwright or a merchant's wharf. We'll go with trade first, because that's getting a fair amount of money. Right, um, let's end the turn again. My... Fucking merchant has taken 37 turns to move down to Africa to go to that gold mine and, and trade slaves. But what I want to do is I want to conquer the West. Uh, once I get rid of England, I might de betray France. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how long these alliances hold, though. They are quite loose. Uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But we'll finish off Venice. That'll be alright. And we'll also marry off the air. But it'll be interesting to see how much of a fight England put up. Last time I checked, they had a pretty big, strong military. Uh, Alright, we've been attacked here by some rebels. Holy shit, pirate ships with um, gold chevrons. We can't withdraw, so it's a clear defeat. The Pope is dead, so I imagine now we're probably going to be reconciled. Pope elective, Benedict... Alright, uh, what else we got here? You've been reconciled. Diplomacy. Uh, Kingdom of Poland's at war with Lithuania. That's good. So that means they won't be wanting to warmonger against us. Where's the prince? Um, Bruno there. How good is this princess, actually? She's five-hearted. She's of Germanic blood. We're going to keep it in the family. But we just need some kids to be popped out here. He will be the future emperor. I would imagine he will be, because he's probably got more authority. Regardless, it looks like the English have doubled back to York. Army of fucking Scottish there. We actually can get some Highlanders. We'll retrain. 
what we can. And we'll move this army back to Edinburgh. We can retrain ships, really? Didn't know that. And we'll go with that as well. We'll be able to get some decent units in Inverness. Right. Um, oh, the Byzantiums are attacking Venice there. Have they taken their settlement over here? Nope. There's a Danish princess who's 42. Man. She's a bit past it, isn't she? Right. What we're going to do now is... I don't know if we push over here if we're going to be trespassing on anyone's lands. I imagine we would be. Who owns this? Well, depending if the the Byzantines win here, I might head over and help them. Just to shore up the defeat. We'll move this army to Bologna. We'll continue to recruit more. Send these guys down to Milan. Uh, we need a fleet. That's what we need. We need this. I was repairing it, but I want this to be pushing over to... Ah, uh, fuck. I need more units. Because those armies in... Scotland are really quite shit, to be honest. We can get some decent units up here. And same in Hamburg. Oh, we haven't built the prerequisites just yet. Finally, my... Oh, merchant. Jesus, he's taking so long. Mind you, he was stuck in France for a considerable amount of time. Not doing anything. I kind of had him stuck because he wasn't didn't have very good pathfinding, the motherfucker. Oh, sorry about that one, guys. Just had to have a quick sip of uh, good old water. It's the fucking best. So good. I love water. Some people don't. I do. Okay, so a Muslim faction is going through jihad through my lands in uh, Switzerland. Why? Who are they? By the looks of the banners, they look like Moorish Caliphate. I'm not quite too. Sh I'm not too sure, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, why the fuck are the Moors there? Huh. Well, we're making a crazy amount of money. Um, the balance of power. I haven't had a look at this in a while. Where? Okay, the Byzantines. The, Byz the Byzantines are dominating military. Kingdom of France is with financial. We've got production, which is good. We're making nearly 10,000 per turn. Is that because of trade? It's because we have Venice, man. Venice is just accumulating so much income. Wow, 2,700 just from trade? Are you kidding me? I was making only 5,000 beforehand. Right. Um, the Kingdom of Aragon have declared a truce with France and the Kingdom of Sicily have been excommunicated. Relationships worsen with uh, Lithuania. Okay, so the Byzantines have actually taken it. And now, for some reason, I can't get back to my lands. We're just going to have to slightly trespass there. That should be okay. Get some better quality units there. Um, who? Yeah, like I said, who owns this land here? Who owns this settlement? Hungary. Well, it looks like the Venetians are being pushed quite back. How many settlements do they have? Actually, let's have a look at the military of England. I was going to show you guys that um, custom. England. Wow, they are nearly like bang smack on with me. France is just below. Venice has been dipped down. They're not a problem. The Byzantines are quite strong, however. Maybe they'll try to oppress our Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Right, um, I still don't feel confident yet to attack England, especially with these armies. They're quite shit, to be uh, perfectly honest. Um, what have we got here to work with? Yeah, it's just a bunch of crap, isn't it? I want to attack from the north, push down through York. Oh, there's a pretty good rebel army there. Um, what's the path fighting moving through Ireland? Can you move through Ireland here? Is there like a path? I don't know. What are England doing? Where are they? France, England. 
They are enemies with um, France only. We could take London quite quickly. That's the thing. Or I could wait and push this army north, ferry over those Viking units. That might be a, a better idea. And then we'll have some decent units to go and attack. Um, the English. Two more turns until they push, push across. We'll create three more archers just to improve the... Uh, the garrison there. Hamburg, what can we get? We can get better quality units. We can get an assassin at Bologna. Huh. Yep. We'll let Venice rot in their last territory and let the Byzantines try to attack them, the Eastern Roman Empire, if you'd call them that. But I imagine we're going to be going to war with England soon. And that's not going to be any, an easy task, to say the least. At least we're going to surround the countryside. Settings, we have Scotland now. I didn't actually want to go to war with Scotland or Norway. They were not my first targets, to be honest. It's just how it turned out, I guess. They declared war on me. Hey, what are you going to do? Because my alliances at the moment are still really quite loose. I wouldn't be surprised if someone... Declares war on me. Right, the Kingdom of Spain is dead. King of Spain. The Kingdom. Right, the Jihad was successful. Some fuck off territory not in the middle of nowhere. Ah. I said those alliances were quite loose. The thing is... Okay. The Kingdom of Denmark have declared war on Poland. Poland, at the moment, are really quite weak. They are all with the the, the Lithuania, uh, Lithuania. However, I want to take Danish lands. Hmm. Poland are the weakest, but this gives us an, an excuse to take Scandinavia, doesn't it? Well, Denmark and Sweden. But the thing is, I wanted to invade England. Because I don't trust the English. Do we fight on two fronts now? Or fight on one front and then risk Denmark getting stronger? Hmm. Because I don't think Poland are going to push against me. Ah, uh, this is a difficult one. Do I side with Denmark or Poland? I genuinely don't know. I wish I could ask you guys here. Well, what are the, the thing is, if I go to if I make an alliance with Poland, that means Denmark. Shit, yeah. I'm gonna back Poland, I think, and risk going to war with Denmark and England. Hopefully, they don't attack me just yet. Or maybe I should ally with Denmark. And then I won't have to worry about... Because Poland won't be able to attack me. Fuck them. They won't care. And I do have a marriage alliance with Denmark. But I do want their lands. <laughs> this is tough. Um... Hmm. Because it's going to be picking where I'm fighting as well. I've gone from Denmark to Poland. I'm thinking of Poland now. No, I'm going to side with Poland. I'm going to break my alliance with Denmark. Wow, that was... Well, only time will tell how successful that will be. But, um... 
Aragon and the Moorish Caliphate are at war. Same with Sicily and France. And Denmark and Poland are now at war. Um, Cardinal of France dies. Alliance in Tatters, Holy Roman Empire and Denmark. Ah, uh, that could allow... Or maybe we should... Yeah. The thing is, if we move out of Scotland, we are going to leave our regions here undefended. I'm going to move this army back to Oslo. Hmm. Interesting, I guess. Right, we'll move this army back to Bologna. We'll send these two units in. We have another spare unit there. Um, haven't decided what I'm going to do with these two units. Hmm. How much of this territory do I own? Not much. Looks like Venice will be destroyed soon anyway. Who have we got here? 2330, 6624. I might actually send this army north to go deal with the the Danish if they come knocking. But what we're going to do here is is we're going to move to Aberdeen and we're going to continue to recruit an army in Scotland because we do need a strong military presence here. I think England is going to be a bigger problem than what we initially think. So that's why I'm half tempted to uh, Denmark, you fuckers. Why'd you have to do this? Right. We'll move this army over. We'll send not all, but some of the reinforcements. And then we'll prepare to march on England. Alright. Only two more turns until we get to Edinburgh. Um, wow, Norse archers. It's cool that we can get some, uh, different quality units here. Because we occupy Scandinavia. Well, we are making a shit ton of money, so that will be for the war chest. Alright, let's end the turn. It won't take that long to cross the channel. I might actually ask France I can so I can join the war against them so I can get better relations with them. What does the kingdom of fucking Portugal want? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We're at war with the Byzantines. Fuck. Shit, I didn't see that coming. Oh, aid. God damn it. Now that's exposed us to Denmark. Well, we are being besieged here. There is quite a few of them. We'll send two full stacks over. Let's run them down. What have they got here? Decent heavy spearmen. Mercenary macemen and mercenary spearmen. We really do just have garbage in these armies, don't we? Not the best. Man, they outnumber us so much. Alright, what have we got to work with here? I'm trying to see which one is the best army. This one doesn't have any archers. No, I'm going to use this army. I think this is probably the best. Alright, let's fight this on the field. Now, this is a huge problem. I don't think I want to push on the Byzantines, to be honest. I want to try to hold Venice and Bologna. Hold the lands I've taken. Um, I don't think even... Oh, fuck, I was going to declare war on England. If we take England out, 
We might have enough funds to declare war on them. I didn't want this war. Oh, well. Not much you can do about it now. Right, we'll hold the... Hold them off here. We'll do as best as we fucking can, I guess. We do ha outnumber them with cavalry. We'll sit back there and let my ballista do most of the work. Alright, cavalry wise. We'll deploy two in the forest here. And we'll put the other two on this other flank here. We'll sit back and try pepper as many of them as possible. My reinforcements should be coming in soon. They've taken the high ground. So we have one lot of reinforcements coming directly behind us. And then we have another lot going directly behind them. However, um, they are in the field. We just need to wait for them to come in. Or maybe they won't because we haven't got enough armies. Right, what's this? Oh, this is my mercenary um, merchant cavalry. Alright, push you on this flank then that you've been already seen. Are they really just going to hill camp like that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back and get my um, artillery to do most of the work then. I say artillery, what we have is a bunch of shitty ballista. Which I don't know how well they're going to do. I've got cavalry here just in case they run down the hill. Oh, God. Once they move up, we'll get them to hold a defensive stance because it's pissing down with rain. We're going to be running uphill against heavy spearmen. This is going to be the death of us. Even this is fucking dangerous, moving my artillery up like this. That other army isn't in yet. Doesn't come in until we move. Until we lose more casualties. There's a train going past my house. I do apologise, guys, if you can hear that. Why aren't you attacking? Fuck. I don't like this. Don't run, uh, because why aren't these guys firing? I guess they can't get the angle. Right, there's no point of relying on these guys. They're gonna get us fucked. Right, these guys are gonna suicide up. I don't think there's much as we can do from that. Alright, we're going to have to flank. Uh, that's the best thing for us. So we're going to push over here. We'll group this flanking army. And then we'll put these guys over here as well. We have, we have to flank. That's what's going to work here. Because these guys are going to run straight up and in there and suicide. We'll send my archers up to help with them. Move everyone up like that. Because... Running up that, that is just ridiculous. Why the fuck would they do? They attacked us. Well, actually, we attacked them now you think of it. They're just going to hill camp there. I wish this army was coming into the field, not the other one. We'll move into some better positions, though. Which will be more favourable to me. Uh, send the cavalry there. Send the cavalry like there. 
Right. Okay. So they are. What are they doing? Looks like they're running down this side of the hill. They're going to engage us here. Right. Attack. Move my archers up there. All right. We'll just hold them off here then. We'll continue to get these guys to flank up here. Oh no, what are they doing now? It's still down here. It's just pissing down with the rain, isn't it? Right, what are we going to work with here? Going into an interesting box formation. The further we can push around, the better, I think. They are firing at us. This hill is just so difficult to negotiate, isn't it? Get a fire, don't we? I accidentally clicked it. What's their play here? Right, they're moving in with my general, my the AI is. Right, let's charge them. We should be able to break them. Send the cavalry here as well. We can kill their general, that should be the end of them. Cavalry's charging them. Jesus. Right. They are mounted archers. So they're just going to be running. Surround them, quick. That's a pretty big punch there, that is. Come on, kill him. Skirmish is spearmint. He's going to run away. I don't think we're going to be able to get him. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's run down these skirmishes. Fuck. Get him to halt. Where are those archers? They haven't been in the game yet. They've just been doing utter shit. How are we going? 8% of their 29. Alright, need my heavy cavalry to start hammering anvil. Because that's how we're going to win this. Charging them from behind. These archers have just been really shit in this. Alright, this should break them. Mind you, they are really good quality. Oh, he's coming back. But like I said, I do want to hammer an anvil. Halt and go back with the general. Speaking of the generals, they really should be up here. Right. What happened? Uh, they're running away again. That's a pain that he's... Generals in is a horse archer unit. Isn't it? The AI was carelessly running in with the general. I wouldn't be surprised if we 
we've lost a general or two. Fucking Byzantines. They've got some really good quality units though, don't they? Alright, let's continue the hammer and anvil. Most of them are broken. I would imagine now that all that's left is the general unit. Yep, six lots of cavalry there. But I do want to run down as many of them as possible. 21%. Man, they just kill camp like a motherfucker. Enemy general's dead. We killed him. No, I want to continue and run them down. And then we'll execute them all. Attacking me, motherfuckers. They're probably the strongest faction at the moment, I would say. Decent quality units. They have a lot of... Well, they're... Um, not pagan, what are they? I called them Protestants last time. <laughs> what are they? Okay, it starts with P. I can't remember. Whatever the religion they are. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, we're in the battle there. They don't have to worry about the Pope. Right, we lost just under 500 with the first army. We lost under 400 with the second. The army, the garrison army from Bologna didn't come into the field, so they didn't lose anything. But we killed most of them, and the enemy general. You can pause and have a look at the stats if you want. But a good victory. I love that quote from King Charles of England. It's so funny. But we'll execute them. Um, I guess we'll push here as well. Because that's probably their, one of their only settlements. In Italy. It's a nice choke point there as well. Right, we'll rally back up. We'll push down against them. Um, we will also... Yeah, I was going to invade England, wasn't I? But I don't know how we're going to do here. Let's have a look at the Byzantine... Jesus. <laughs> they have over 400,000 400, men. They have they outnumber us four to one. How many territories do they have? I have less. I have more than them. That's interesting. They must just have, like, crazy upkeep. But I'm going to end the video here. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.